In the previous lesson, we learned how to get up and running with Elementor. In this lesson, we'll start building our page. I'll add a section with one column and give it a minimum height of 100 VH. This way, the section will always take up at least 100% of the viewport's height, no matter the amount of content in it. I'll set the content width to 800 pixels over here. And in style, we can give our section a background. There are a couple of types. You can open the media library by clicking on the plus over here. As you can see, it's empty. We can drag in an image file as well as other media. I want a video to play in the background. So I'll go ahead and drag in a video file. And then I'll copy this link over here. Now close the library and change the background type to video. We can either add a YouTube or Vimeo link or simply paste the link to the video file we just uploaded to our media library. I'll go ahead and set it to play on mobile as well. Next, I'll give it a classic background overlay. You can either use the color picker or paste the color code over here. I'll go for this nice purple color. If you want to reuse this color, simply click the plus icon and it'll be added to your color palette automatically. Next, I'll set the opacity to 0.7 and I'll darken it a bit by using the blend mode option. Okay, great. Next, I'll drag in a text editor widget and change the text. In style, I'll align it to the center and change the color to white. In typography, the default font family Montserrat we set before is automatically applied here. I'll change the size to 15 pixels, weight to 200, and set transform to uppercase. I'll also set the letter spacing to seven, so it spreads out nicely. Then drag in a heading widget and change the text. Align it to the center as well. And in style, set the color to white. In typography, the font family Sinzel we set before as default is automatically applied here as well. I'll set the size to 70 pixels and transform to uppercase. Next, drag in another text editor widget and change the text. Like before, align it to the center and change the color to white. Then set the line height to 2EM. In advanced, unlink the padding values so you can set them individually. And change the unit to percentage and give it 20% padding to the left and right. Okay, great, looking good. We're almost done with our first section. Time to drag in the button widget. I'll change the text and align it to the center. Here, I'll add a link that sets it to scroll down to the second section on this page, which we need to build first. So I'll show you how to do that soon. I'll set its size to large, and in style, typography, I'll set the transform to uppercase. Next, I'll give it this dark text color and change the background color to white. On hover, I'll change the text color to white and the background color to this pink red. I'll save this color so I can reuse it later. Let's add a hover animation as well. I'll set it to float. Lastly, I'll set the border radius to zero so the button becomes a rectangle. Let's check out what we have so far. I'll go ahead and press preview over here. As you can see, the page opens in a new tab. Cool. Okay, great. Let's move on to the second section. I'll add a section with one column and give it a minimum height of 100 VH. In style, I'll give it this dark background color and save it as well. Now, in order to speed up our design process, let's go back to our first section and copy this text editor widget. Then paste it in the column and change the text. Next, I'll do the same for the heading. Back in the first section, I'll copy it and paste it over here. Then change the text. 
Getting the hang of it? Let's do it one last time with the text editor widget. OK, let's move on. This time, I'll drag in an inner section widget. It comes with two columns by default. I'll right click on the column and select Add New Column, so there's three in total. Now, let's drag an image box widget into the first column. I'll click here to enter the media library and simply drag my flower images onto it to upload them. I'll choose this image first. Next, I'll change the title and description. And in style, I'll set the spacing to zero and width to 100%. In the content dropdown, align the text to left. And for the title, set the spacing to two and color to white. In typography, change the font family to Montserrat, size to 18 pixels, and set it to transform to uppercase as well. For the description, set the color to white and drag down the opacity a bit. Set the size to 16 pixels and give it a weight of 200. Now let's duplicate this widget and drag it into the other columns. I'll go ahead and change their images, texts, and descriptions. So we end up with three types of flowers with price tags. OK, great. Now let's copy this text editor widget. Then paste it under the flowers. And in advanced, add 10% padding on the top to create some space. Next, copy the button from the first section. Paste it and change the text. In the link field, I'll add a tell scheme, like so. This will trigger a phone call when clicking on the button in a web page and on a mobile phone. Back in the section settings, in advanced, I'll unlink the padding and add 200 pixels to the top and bottom. Now it's time to set the button in the first section to scroll to this section. I'll go ahead and type a CSS ID over here for the section and copy it. Then, back in the button's link field in the first column, paste the ID after the pound key. And that's it. Now, when your visitors press the button, they'll be taken to the second section automatically. Cool. OK, great. Let's move on to the third and final section. I'll go ahead and copy the first section and paste it at the bottom of the page. I'll change the min height to 50 VH and set the background type to classic. For now, I'll leave the purple background overlay so we can see the texts. I'll remove it later so we end up with a clean white background. But first, I'll delete these widgets so we're left with a text editor widget over here. Then I'll change the text and set its color. Now let's duplicate the widget and change the text as well. In style, I'll change the size to 60 pixels and give it a bold weight of 600. Then remove the letter spacing and drag the line height all the way down. Next, duplicate the first text again and drag it under the phone number. Here, I'll add the flower shop's address and drag in a social icons widget over here. Add an item and choose the Instagram icon from the library. Then add all of the social links accordingly. I'll go ahead and change the shape to square and in style, give it a custom color and set its size to 25, padding to 0 0.7 and spacing to 12. On icon hover, I'll set the color to change to the pink red we set before. I'll add the float hover animation here as well. 
And in advanced, I'll unlink the padding and add 40 pixels padding to the top. Okay, great. Now, back in the section settings in style, let's remove the purple background overlay. So we end up with a clean white background. Cool, we're almost ready.